Abilene. Abby Jacobs was born in Japan to Filipino parents and raised in America. As a retired nurse, she believes art in its many forms is healing. For years, she has explored various artistic mediums and styles until she discovered her fashion, the ancient form of Chinese watercolor and sumi ink on rice paper. After mastering the form, part of her joy has been to now add her own unique essence, blending the ancient style and her modern perspective into a new fusion that captures the reverence for life of the ancient tradition in with a pulsing aliveness that is totally modern. In travels and during random serene moments, she also enjoys photography of different subject matters, having the occasional eye-catching photo converted to canvas. Welcome, Abby, to Peace Art Pavilion 2021. And Abby's joining us from Kendall Park, New Jersey. Hi there, Edwin. Thank you for having me and hello to everybody. Abby, to start with, tell us a bit more about the Chinese painting style and what attracted you to it. Growing up in Okinawa and coming over to the United States, it probably was submerged in me. But later in my career as a nurse, I wanted to re-explore my desire for art. And Chinese watercolor has always been delicate and ethereal. So I just wanted to study it. And uh, it's been, it's given me great pleasure. And thank you. And hey, let's share uh, some of your work uh, with the audience. And this is actually a state park in upstate New York called Watkins Glen. Beautiful hiking area. And I hope I've captured it with its waterfalls and its, its streamlined rock uh, surfaces. My stepdaughter asked me to paint her irises. I guess I couldn't do it simply. I gave it its vibrancy here and uh, she loved it. Uh, have you ever seen a koi fish come to the surface and smile at you? I certainly did. Before you knew it, I had to get down out my paints and paint the two koi swimming below the weeping willow trees. Uh, the lotus flower is so, so special in the Chinese culture. It stands for purity. Um, and it might normally be grown in the swamp or pond, but again, rising above it all. This would be the lotus version of the dying leaf, but with the vibrant living water lilies. This is a super moon uh, in, memory, in honor of my daughter and her new husband. They got married in the night of the super moon in Tulum, Mexico, and I really had to capture that. This is Wisteria One. I painted this late 2019. My infatuation for wisteria is just constant. And I finished this right before my husband uh, became more ill. And this one is wisteria two, which I completed after his passing. See the bluebirds, they are our symbol of him. And you will be seeing more bluebirds in upcoming paintings. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your beautiful paintings, Abby. And a Pistan audience, please visit the Pistan Art Pavilion to find out more about Abby Jacobs. Salamat, Abby. Take care. Salamat. <laughs>